some of I just need to get a little bit of clarification. I appreciate some of your opening comments that you would defend this bill if it's passed. I appreciate those comments being made. Only question is, is when do y'all determine when and when not when you when, when you are when you're not gonna speak for or against the bill based on <laughs> because I know during the during one a bill that I had up this year, it was actually trying to repeal a provision of the law that was unconstitutional. The Attorney General's office understood it to be unconstitutional, but did not want to speak in favor of my bill. I, I had no idea why. Uh, and I don't have that information. Uh, that determination. I, I really wish there was just staunch guidelines as to when you're to be here and when you're not to be here. So we don't, I, mean, I don't want, for instance, in a record to feel, you know, singled out. I would rather, I mean, there's a lot of bills that you can contest constitutionality of that's probably passed through both chambers every day. And I realize you're on a lot of committees and maybe have difficult time navigating that. But maybe we need to develop a formula of some kind that dictates when you're to be here and when you're not to be here. Because I am very worried that when you make a testimony, provide testimony as you have, that you're already behind the eight ball in defending a bill. Because the first thing, if I'm the attorney that's going to challenge constitutionality, I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I don't have your name. I'm Elizabeth to, Walker. I'm, I'm going to say Elizabeth Walker sitting in the table and it's unconstitutional. Now, Mr. Attorney General, how do you plan on defending what you've already said to be unconstitutional? Like I said, I think they're real, we really need to probably give a little bit more thought to when you're to be here, when you're not to be here, so that yeah. it is, you know, partisan in the attorney general's decision. And I appreciate let, me, uh, let me intervene just a minute from an attorney who's prospective. It's the role of the attorney general to represent the state of Arkansas. And they're in their role as an attorney, then they have an obligation to tell their client their opinion as to whether or not a bill would be constitutional or unconstitutional. On the other hand, it's also their responsibility to defend any action that the legislature takes. So I'm, I'm viewing her role here today as telling us, in, in our attorney's opinion, that the bill is unconstitutional do with everything in, in that respect. Oh, and, 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 I, and I agree. And I mean, she did have every right to be here today. I just want it to be uniform. I mean, for instance, like I said, I know I had a bill that the Attorney General said would take care of an unconstitutional statute that was on the books. But he also decided that he would not send anyone to speak for my bill. Well, I mean, there's much, just as much obligation for the Attorney General to come <coughs> and speak for a bill that removes something that is unconstitutional to prevent future litigation, which was imminent. Yeah, be consistent. That sounds a little bit like politics. No, that's consistency, not politics. If I could just briefly respond. Mr. Chair, I want you to recognize me. Can I speak to this before we lose the point? Yes, I'll let her comment too. That would be fine.